welcome back. I'm excited to do a tutorial today on AI headshots. If you haven't seen this trend lately, it is absolutely crazy insane. People are just taking their normal selfies and all of a sudden turning them into pretty good looking AI headshots. So I'm happy to teach you today on how to do that. I've been experimenting and sending them to my friends and family and it's been a lot of fun. So if you wanna learn how to do an AI headshot, uh, stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is download the app called Remini. I believe that's what it's called. It looks the same whether it's on an iPad or an iPhone. And when you open it up, at the bottom, there are three different options, enhanced AI photos and AI avatars. And so you want to be able to choose uh, AI photos and then select your selfie from your library or take some in the moment if you need to. And then I'm going to choose some photos of myself. I'm going to add them in. And then once it adds, you're gonna hit continue. And once you've continued, pick your gender. And then you choose like an inspiration photo. So I've done quite a few of these already and uh, I'm excited to see what different ones are going to look like. I've sent some to my uh, family and to my friends and uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. I don't think they look like me or I feel like my friends and families do look like them. So I feel like there's a little bit of like, I don't know, dysmorphia going on, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna choose maybe this like leather pant, leather, you know, sweater kind of situation here. And then you're going to use this as your model image. It will take a good amount of time. It says it's gonna take five minutes. It could take 15 minutes, but I usually just hit notify me when ready and then I'll get a notification on my iPad or my phone letting me know that it's ready to go and I can look at them. And once you've done that initial scan of your photos, it takes maybe two or three minutes each time to develop a different type of photo. So um, let's go ahead and see what happens. Here is a better look at some of the sample images I chose as this is loading. Uh, I just chose my friends or family have taken of me a couple of selfies where, you know, I was feeling myself. So uh, yeah, let's, let's see what the results are from this. While we're waiting, uh, keep my cute little animals. I got my little cat, Willie, uh, one-eyed Willie. He only has one eyeball. And then I have my puppy princess. Well, she's not really a puppy. She's a, a senior dog, but they're my little babies who you might see running back and forth behind my videos every now and then. So those are my little babies. Right. They're done. <laughs> Let's take a look. I'm super nervous. Okay. All right. Got it. Oh my God. Why do my eyes look so weird in this? I feel like that doesn't look like me. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to trash that one. Okay, do you see what I mean by the fact that photographers' jobs are still safe? Like, it just looks so digitally painted still. I mean, it's a cute fit. I feel like I'm inspired to get some leather pants now, but um, I, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. What do you guys think? All right, I'm gonna, I'll save that one. Again, it's so AI generated. Oh, that's a cute pose. But also you'll notice when you're looking at them on like TikTok or whatever, um, you'll see that like, you see like my hand, um, it's like deformed, but I mean, I still look cute. I mean, I, I think it's adorable. All right, let's see. Yeah, see, you see what I mean? Look at my hands. Like, um, okay, all right. And again, hands, like look at the hands, the necklace, the accessories, they always look kind of off. All right, I saved them. So let's go ahead and create some more. I'm gonna do the business professional one. So I feel like my head shape's off a little bit. And again, look at the hands. The hands tell it all. But let me tell you, I wish my hair looked like that. I mean, when I have extensions in it, it kind of does, but okay. That one is better because there's no hands. But again, do you see what I mean by artificial? My eye colors kind of change. I need someone to help me out with the fact that this does not look like me. I cannot figure it out. I think they like squished my face in too much, uh, but the pink suit's a moment, you know? I feel like maybe I should buy one. Yeah, that doesn't look like me at all, I feel like. Again, look at the hands. I can't get over the hands. <laughs> that one's kind of weird. It got my dimple. It got my dimple in though. Okay, all right. Not bad. 
but again, it looks like digital art still. Me holding my stomach, my knee awkwardly exposed, my hairline super weird. Oh my goodness. All right, let's create another one. Let's go ahead and do maybe this like jean blue blazer moment. All right, let's use it. <laughs> we got some more and body proportions are up. Again, the main thing here that I've learned is that I need to take care of my hair. Oh my gosh, blue hair. Okay, I've always wondered what I would look like with blue hair and here it is. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Uh, that's very interesting. Hopefully uh, you would agree. <laughs> okay, blonde hair. Uh, my sister's blonde and this just confirms that I don't think I would look like good as a blonde. I just, no, 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 no. This is the first one that I feel like kind of looks like me out of all of them. But again, the hands. If AI can fix hands, I feel like we might have gotten something here. And again, the skin is too airbrushed, but this is pretty funny. I feel like this is the most accurate one, but again, the hand Fs it up. Cute. Little white t-shirt moment. The hoop earrings are totally me. And again, the hair. I just need to upgrade my hair. Look at that double finger. Do you see the double finger on the left-hand side? Gnarly. Hands, 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 hands. Oh my gosh. Uh, the eye, this one's like really bad. All right, that was the last one. Here's some more that are just for fun. I tried some of the other ones that are not business related, but you tell me, would you use any of these on your LinkedIn profile? I, for one, would not. Uh, I still think the technology is not quite there, but it is really incredible to know and to imagine where it is going. Um, the hands obviously cracked me up, the jewelry cracks me up, and the hair, um, again, is sometimes a little too perfect. The airbrushing is too perfect. It still looks like really incredible digital art because at the end of the day, that's what it is. It is digital art. But again, please tell me, I'm begging you, if you have put your photo, your AI photo on LinkedIn, please link it. I need to see it. Message me because I will hype it up. <laughs> but other than that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're into AI technology and up and coming technology in the photo and video world, Follow me, let me know. I have a fun time exploring it and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Bye.